Uh, as surfers, uh, we spend a lot of time paddling out, and occasionally we get caught out by waves, and we have to deal with large bits of white water, kind of like what you can see happening in my amazing drawing. Um, when you're caught out by a wave and you're having to deal with a large bit of white water and you're riding a board that's too big to duck dive, then a good trick to know is how to Eskimo roll or turtle roll a board, which is where you're basically going to turn your board upside down and shelter yourself from the wave, kind of using it like a shield. But the trick with this move is it's all about building momentum going forward because water tends to choose the path of least resistance. So you're going to kind of create a foil around yourself and kind of become a bullet. So what you want to do is as you see a big bit of white water coming at you, is start to accelerate towards it. And as you do this, as you get to within about a meter and a half of the wave, you're going to roll yourself upside down. And the trick is when you roll yourself upside down is to do it quickly so you keep that momentum going forward. Otherwise, as the wave gets closer, if you sort of slowly roll off your board, it's not going to happen. You're going to get nailed. What you've got to do is attack it so you start to accelerate towards the wave. And as you get about a meter and a half in front of it, roll yourself upside down a bit like you're rolling yourself out of the way of oncoming traffic. But as you do this, stab the board forwards and you're basically going to use the rocker line of the board and as you turn it upside down and stab it forward you're really going to stab it underneath the wave which is going to create a seal underneath it a kind of a foil and allow the wave to pass over it and the trick is as you're paddling at it start to accelerate towards it roll and stab and really stab that board underneath the wave Kind of like taking a chisel and turning it upside down and chip it underneath the wave. And the trick is, once you accelerate, paddle towards it, roll your board upside down and stab it forward like this, you also want to push away to reinforce the seal that you've created or the foil between the board and the wave. What a lot of people do is they roll the board upside down, stab it forward and then try and pull the board down, trying to keep it down. But what they're doing is kind of pulling the board away from the wave and it's created this nice seal. So the trick is you want to paddle at it, roll, stab, and then push away. And you basically are going to ro roll, stab, and push away. And it also makes you a bit of a T-bar shape, which is harder to pull back this way. Now, when you want to get back up onto your board and you've paddled at it, you've rolled, stabbed, pressed away, when you want to get back up, if you leave your arms above your head like this, your arms will lock when you try and get back up onto the board. So you've got to drop a hand down the rail and release it so you can get back up onto the board. So the trick is, like I say, when you see a wave like this coming at you, attack it. It's about willpower. You've got to want it. Become the bullet. Really paddle at it. Start to accelerate. Roll, stab, press away. And then to get back up, release a hand and back onto your board. But you've got to want it. Have it! Hope that made sense and was useful. But you've got to want it.